Good morning, everyone. My name is Ken Griffin, and if you are uh, a part of this broadcast for the first time, I'd just like to let you know that I am a lay servant at the Little Falls United Methodist Church, and I will be conducting the uh, Friday devotion during the holy season of Lent. Before I begin with our scripture lesson, I'd like to offer a moment of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, please open our eyes to the trust, to the truth of your word. Let your word change our thoughts and actions. May this study of your word draw us closer to you. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, and all God's people said, Amen. This morning I will be reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 139, verses 7 through 12. My brothers and sisters, hear now the word of the Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. The darkness is as light to you. My brothers and sisters, this is the word of the Lord. Our meditation piece this morning is taken from the Upper Room Magazine for Friday, February 26th, and it relates to us the story uh, of a young man who had just uh, lost his mother to a, uh, uh, to a life-threatening disease and what he was doing in, to attempt to live his life as his mother lived hers, even in her uh, darkest time through her illness. In the months following my mother's death from ALS, I started my first semester of college, began a new job, and painfully continued life without my mom here to be a part of it. As unbearable as life with her can seem, I still somehow managed to find moments of joy that the Lord offers me in my grief. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 was my mom's favorite verse. Throughout her life, I never saw her doubt that the Lord was with her. When her final days were coming, I know she was filled with peace and joy because she knew in just a matter of time she would see her Savior. She called out, and God answered her on a daily basis. She didn't know exactly what God was doing amidst her suffering, only that God was present. And this is a key part to remember of this lesson, brothers and sisters, only that God was present and would never abandon her. Even on days when my grief seems unbearable, I remember that God walked through the ALS with my mom walked with me as I witnessed her life ending, and still walks with me today. I sometimes struggle to be joyful and to live in the present, but the Lord is right here next to me, sustaining me through it all. We never know what circumstances we will be facing on a daily basis. If you're like me, you look forward to those days that are filled with joy and happiness rather than one challenge after another. The truth is that this is not a realistic approach to the way God calls us to live. The Bible tells us that there will be seasons of testing. But the question I put before you as I put this question before myself 
how do we get through the darkness so that we can return to the light? The young man in our lesson today was getting ready to experience one of the greatest accomplishments of his life. He was preparing to go off to his first semester at college when his mother passed away from a, a long illness. At times, he felt unbearable grief. But it was during those times that he would remember that through her suffering, his mother never lost her faith and trust in God. At times, we can become angry or even disappointed in God because when we call out to God, sometimes He, he doesn't hear us. Or it seems like He doesn't hear us. And we feel like He's abandoned us because He doesn't answer us. But sometimes, brothers and sisters, even in His silence, that is a way that God has of letting us know that it's just not time to receive the answer. Sometimes we think that God has given us the wrong answer. Why? Because He hasn't given us the answer that we were seeking. But remember this. Remember the words of the Scriptures. Remember the words of this story. God never forsakes us. He will be there to walk beside us, to sustain us, and strengthen us through all things. I grew up following uh, Billy Graham and I was a big fan of, of the uh, gospel singer George Beverly Shea. And George Beverly Shea, Shea sang many traditional songs that are still a part of my life today. But the words of one song is what I want to close with today. At the end of the song, it simply says this, nothing, nothing, no, nothing is impossible for God. Let us pray. Dear Lord, give us the strength to overcome whatever trials we face. We place our lives always in your hands. And we ask for this peace, this joy, this happiness that comes from knowing you. Before your throne of grace and at the cross of your son Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Have a great uh, weekend, brothers and sisters. And I hope to see you all again next Friday. God bless.